Hey everyone, Conrad Jones from Purpose Unleashed TV here with another quick, simple video book review to show you the big picture ideas behind great books that will help you improve your life. In this video, I'm going to give you the quick walkthrough and video book summary of Who Moved My Cheese by Spencer Johnson. We will look at the book's big idea, the seven key secrets, a real life case study, the ABCs of cheesiness, and then I'll give you four free resources. Okay, let's get moving. Let's begin with a quote from the book that says, Life is kind of like a maze of passages through which we must find our way. But always, if we have faith, God will open a door for us. Not necessarily the one that we ourselves would have ever thought of perhaps, but one that will ultimately prove and work out to be good for us. Here's the big idea behind the book as summed up by Ken Blanchard. Who Moved My Cheese is a story about change that takes place in a maze where four amusing characters look for cheese. Cheese being a metaphor for what we want in life, whether it's a job, relationship, money, big house, health, recognition, spiritual peace. Each of us have our own idea of what cheese is and we pursue it because we believe it will make us happy. If we get it, we often become attached to it. And if we lose it or it is taken away, it can often be traumatic. The maze in the story represents where we spend time looking for what we want. It can be within an organization that we work in, the community we live in, or the relationships that we have in our lives. Here are the seven key secrets or the principles behind unlocking the book quickly. The first is that change happens, so you better get used to it. Anticipate change or always look for change to happen. Monitor change, <laughs> keep your eye open. Adapt to change quickly. You better move or you will lose. Change or move with the times or move with the cheese. Enjoy change. Take the adventure. Life is an adventure. And finally, be ready to change quickly because things in life keeps moving. Here's a question for you. Have you ever gotten robbed of your cheese before? <laughs> I know I have. I've had it ripped right out of my hands while I was eating it. Well, not literally, but you know what I mean. One day, my old boss calls me in his office and he says, Hey, you know that money you're making to help you and your family cope? Well, today, I decided you shouldn't have it. And there's nothing that you can do to stop me from taking it away. Because remember, I control your financial destiny. Then he kicks me out of his office and he bursts out into an evil laugh. Now, here's how that left me feeling. I was mad as hell because I felt entitled to what was taken from me. Then, I was depressed because I felt I lost what was rightfully mine and didn't see any way to replace it. Then I was frustrated because life now sucked and this was all someone else's fault. And finally, I felt betrayed. After all I'd done for this company, this was the thanks I was getting. If you've had your cheese move before, you know what all of this feels like and then some, right? So for days I walked the beach ranting, raving and crying over my loss until one of my mentors called and he said, stop wasting your time being like every other idiot who's trapped in the cheese entitlement mentality. Invest your time and energy becoming someone who can not only find more cheese but become someone who can make your own cheese. Because just in case you didn't notice, the world is filled with cheese and the materials to create cheese. Stop being an idiot and stop being afraid and find new cheese or get up and create some more. So here's what happened. I took his advice and instead of allowing the anger of someone moving my cheese to destroy me, I used that passion as fuel to push and propel me. I always wanted to write, so I started writing. I stopped focusing on what used to be and started focusing on what could be. I stopped focusing on who I was and I started focusing on who I could become. Had I ever written and published a book before? No. I had no skills, no ability, no training. But as scary and frustrating as it was at the time, I always knew that the important thing was to keep moving in the direction of the dream or new cheese. And boy, I did find new cheese in my writing. I did find happiness. Here's a few of my published books. Now, this is not to brag or anything. This is just to show you that just like me, you too can find new cheese or new happiness 
or you can create your own. And you know what? You better start working on that now because in this new economy, cheese can disappear literally overnight. Okay, so here's your takeaway. Here's the ABC of cheesiness. Yeah, I know that's not a word, but I couldn't find any, so I made it up. The first is A, accept the fact that cheese moves. Life will always bring challenges and changes. Your attitudes towards them will determine your development and your destiny. If your cheese is moved, get up and go find some more. B. Believe that you can learn to create your own cheese. You have the gift, the ability, the wisdom, the skill, and the God-given passion to create any kind of life you really want. Yes, it may include some hard work, but when you learn the creative process, no matter what happens, you can always rebuild the cheese. And C. Careful attention to the cheese is vital. Many times, when we begin taking things for granted in our lives instead of having a grateful heart every day, we often don't notice that our cheese slowly begins slipping away. You know, if you have a great relationship, career, business, family, don't take those things for granted because ingratitude is the blindness that causes you to miss the little changes that can mean so much in the end. So here's some free resources for you. Personally, I love the book Who Moved My Cheese because it's a great story that really helps with gaining new perspective about life and change and coping with sometimes the inevitable. If you want, you can download the free story. You can see other videos or you can get a detailed synopsis of the book. The links are just right below this video. But before you go, remember to subscribe to this channel so you get notified immediately when we release other free videos like this one that talks about great books and topics that will help you improve your life. We'd appreciate it if you left an intelligent comment or better yet, why don't you share your own cheese success story with us by posting a video response? <laughs> that should be a blast. Well, have a great day.